Welcome back to Taxes Made Simple. I'm your host, Carlton Dennis. And in today's video, we'll be discussing a new article that was released by the company called ProPublica. You may have known them as a nonprofit organization that looks into investigative journalism, releasing stories and information to the public that they believe are needed for the viewers and the listeners' ears. And in this video, I'm gonna share my opinion on ProPublica's recent article that they released stating that they have access to the top tax returns of the world's richest individuals. I'm talking about Jeff Bezos, Donald Trump, the CEOs, the wealthy individuals, the Warren Buffets of the world. They have now have access to these tax returns and will be releasing tax laws, tax strategies, and deductions that the ultra wealthy have leveraged for years to reduce their taxes to virtually nothing. And if you wanna learn more about that, then you're gonna to wanna to stick to the end of this video to learn how they're doing it. Let's dive in. So first we have to talk about what ProPublica is. They're a nonprofit newsroom that's based in New York City. Their job is to grab stories and release them to the public. Now, this is not just any story. And part of the reason why it's not is because IRS tax returns are not public information. It is private information. There are social security numbers, EIN numbers, and tons of sensitive business information. Now, an anonymous provider has provided ProPublica this amount of information, the tax data that they are now gonna release over the next couple of months for all viewers and listeners. But I'm gonna give you my personal opinions on some of the articles that they've already released. So let's dive into the one that just came out today, talking about why they're publishing the tax secrets of the top 1%. You'll see here that ProPublica is launching the first in a series of stories based on the private tax data of some of the nation's richest citizens. They shared that they've obtained this information from an anonymous source who, who provided a large amount of information of the ultra wealthy, everything from taxes they paid to the income they reported to the profits from their stock trades. Now, ProPublica's goal is in the coming months to release this material and share how the nation's wealthiest individuals have paid roughly 0.001% exploiting the structure of the tax code to avoid tax burden borne by ordinary citizens. Many will ask about the ethics of publishing such private data. We are doing so quite selectively and carefully because we believe it serves the public interest in fundamental ways, allowing readers to see patterns that were until now hidden. Hmm. So this statement right here, I have a problem with. And the reason why I have a problem with it is because they're stating that something is hidden. One of the things that I want you guys to know is that the IRS has released tax codes that are extensive. They're extremely long. The tax code is actually over 84,000 pages. But one of the things that you have to realize about the ultra wealthy is when they get to a position where they are making really good money, they start to change things about their life. And one of the things that they will change is they'll change the accountants and they'll change the information that they're obtaining from their accountants. You see, if you are someone who's making $100,000 and you're working with an accountant who only works with people who make $100,000, then you might be only getting $100,000 worth of advice because your accountant is so used to working with people who make in that income bracket. But when you start to push into these higher income brackets like um, Jeff Bezos and um, Elon Musk, you start to upgrade your accountants. Matter of fact, you start to obtain accounting teams, a group of individuals, tax strategists who are out there utilizing their expertise to research the tax law and engineer laws that you can use as you're going about business. So when it says that there, the, there's been hidden um, uh, tax secrets, there's nothing hidden. The IRS tax codes are for everybody. It's just whether or not you're gonna to choose to spend your time going through 82,452 pages, right? Elon Musk is not gonna go through those pages and neither is Jeff Bezos, but they're gonna hire teams of people that will go through those tax returns or that will go through those tax documents and tax reports for them. ProPublica later on in the report states that it is now clear that there isn't just one such taxpayer, there are many in multiple industries. We believe that disclosing the identities of billionaires who pay little to no in taxes in years, their fortunes grew by billions of dollars, will help readers understand the magnitude of the tax advantages the, the ultra rich enjoy. We also believe that disclosure of specific figures about the tax returns of people like Jeff Bezos, Michael Bloomberg, Warren Buffett, and Elon Musk will deepen readers' interest and understanding of this complex and arcane subject. So I am all for 
viewers and readers having a deeper interest and in understanding of advanced tax law. I'm all for it. Do I believe it should come with the ex at the expense of Michael Bloomberg or Jeff Bezos or Warren Buffett having their tax returns under a microscope lens without their, um, without their approval? Absolutely not. I think that um, in, in America, uh, in, in, in the United States, um, our information should be protected when we file our tax returns, right? We should trust the IRS system and the federal system that when we complete our returns, that our information is gonna be protect protected unless we choose to share that information. I also, at the same time, agree with ProPublica's point of view that readers do need to understand the magnitude of the tax advantages that the ultra wealthy are receiving. And part of the reason why I believe that is for the same reason I created this channel. Information is out there if you choose to seek information. But when you talk about something with this level of magnitude, you, you really spark a lot of viewers' interest and a lot of viewers' ears. And that's what ProPublica is doing. They're gaining a lot of attention by having access to information. And by giving viewers access to this level of information, their goal is to spark more people to want to go into business or to invest in real estate or to possibly even figure out ways in which they can utilize the tax system and the way it's been set up. Now, one thing I will say without going any further into this article is that we have to understand something about lawmakers. Lawmakers constantly focus on increasing income tax. They don't ever really focus on taxing the wealthy. And that's something that we have to take into consideration. The way the US tax code is set up, it's set up to tax you based on the amount of income you earn. The wealthy have figured out how to avoid showing income on their tax returns for years. So if we get into a place where we are now segregating people who have figured out how to become wealthy, that is a completely different discussion than trying to just simply increase the tax rates based on income. So as we go back into the publication, it says, our publication of this tax data comes at a possible pivotal moment in America's long, often contentious debate about the fairness of our tax system. The Biden administration has proposed raising a number of taxes to pay for additional trillions of dollars in government spending. So far, the conversation in Washington has been dominated by an issue long seen as a central on Capitol Hill, whether to increase the top rate from its current level of 37% by a fewer percentage points. Such a change, our story shows, would touch the rich hardly at all. And to be honest, I truly think it, it, it would touch the rich hardly at all. If we increase the top tax rates from 37% to 39%, it's only gonna tax the people who haven't figured out a way to reduce their taxable income. The rich understand how to reduce their taxable income. The wealthy are gonna utilize real estate and they're gonna spend more to avoid taxes legally every single year. So simply altering percentages may not be the way. But when you attack certain items like capital gains tax or you attack 1031 exchanges, these are really attacking business owners at a bigger level because now you're dealing with investment income, a, a part of the tax code that real estate investors and business owners have been able to leverage and exploit for tax savings for years upon years. But if you start to change those parts of the law that have been in, in place for really long periods of time, this is when investors have to change their philosophies on how they invest or how they move money around or how they wish to grow their businesses, which could have a deeper impact on our overall economy. Now, it says later on that we do not know the identity of our source. We do not solicit the information they sent us. The source says they were motivated by our previous coverage of issues surrounding the IRS and tax enforcement, but we do not know for certain that this is true. We've considered the possibility that information we have received could have come from a state actor hostile to American interests. In particular, a number of government agencies were compromised last year by what the U.S. has said were Russian hackers who exploded vulnerabilities in software sold by SolarWinds, a Texas-based information technology company. We do note, however, that the Treasury Department's Inspector General for Tax Administration wrote in December that at this time there is no evidence that any taxpayer's information was exposed in the SolarWinds hack. While the revelations in today's stories are extraordinary, the procedures were used in assessing the data's value are standard in the craft of journalism. When a reporter makes contact with the source and is provided information, we begin with questions. Is the material authentic? Is it newsworthy? Is it complete? So ProPublica is truly taking a journalistic approach to this. They're truly acting as if this information was just handed to them anonymously and they're just reporting information. But I just think this is all very funny that this is at the same time that Biden is pushing to change tax rates. So 
this is information to just keep our eyes on, right? I'm not making any assumptions on what's going on underneath the rug, but what I wanna say is, is that there will be information that will come out over the next couple of weeks to next couple of months exposing how Jeff Bezos, Michael Bloomberg, Warren Buffett, and many others such as Elon Musk are leveraging losses, depreciation, tax credits, and loopholes within the IRS tax code to avoid taxes legally. And then there will be possible changes by the Biden administration in the coming year of 2022 based off of some of this information we might see here in the next coming weeks, a couple of months. If you liked any of this information I've shared with you here today, guys, or if you value my opinions as a tax strategist, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to connect with you guys more. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.